Welcome to Jamboard. Jamboard is an interactive whiteboard. It's kind of like Google Slides. It is uh, made by Google. So you can share um, a Jamboard with a whole class and everyone can work on the same um, Jamboard or set of Google Slides is kind of what it's like. Or you can um, force a copy and, and the kids could each have their own copy. So if you're doing a digital notebook, this would be a great thing for that. Um, the thing that I love about Jamboard is how easy it is to quickly make things. Um, you can make them on the fly or you could um, make them and then just share that code in your, um, in your assignment or in um, a Google Meet. So I'm going to show you a few of the features of Jamboard. So your first, um, there are a couple different things. You have a set background, and you can set the background for every single slide. Super easy to do, and we will um, look at that. This, this guy right here it says to do an image. Well, when you do that, you can draw, you can choose your own image. So if you have, a say, a graphic organizer that you've used um, in class, just needs to be a picture. Um, so you could snip a picture, and you could use that as your background. You could also take a picture. What I love about this is that you can Google search anything and insert that as your background. And, and we'll take a look at that in just a little bit. So that's that one. Uh, you have the ability to write. So if you have one of those little write or those little pen, I think inner writers or the uh, Wacom tablets, you could use that or you could use a mouse. Uh, but you have the ability to do a highlighter, a paintbrush, all of those things. You have an eraser, and this is how you select specific items. Uh, I love the sticky notes. That's where you'll see these here. It's great to be able to tell students that ask them for a response and tell them to color it in a certain way based on something. So maybe it's, if you have, I'd like you to pose a question uh, that you have on the assignment today. If you can still continue to work, even if that question hasn't been answered yet, color your post-it green. If you really need some help to, to really go forward, color it yellow or something like that. And so to do the sticky note, colors are up there. They just type, hit save, and then it, it pops up. You can change the size of your sticky note by just changing, by just dragging that uh, corner. You can also duplicate your sticky note and order if you want to have one on top of another. So that's the sticky note option. Uh, the add the image. So all of these little images here, these are things that I just did a Google search. And all you do is just like the background, you just click that. You know, I would hit Google image search. So I think I, um, I typed maybe new here and that's where I picked up that picture. So it's super easy to insert that. You click it, you hit insert, and then you can change the size or do whatever you would like. I'm gonna get rid of that because this is what we're using for the PD. You can also insert shapes. So you could add your an arrow, maybe you're doing a sequence of events or something like that. And the text box is super easy. You just click on the little T and you type something. Now notice how it came down on the second line. I don't really want that, so I'm gonna extend it, but it's kind of large, so you can change the size of the font super easy like that. So we're gonna go ahead and, and delete that out of there. And then we have something called a laser, and so if you're drawing attention to something, the fact that this three hours of Flex PD, basically, you have tw two 30-minute sessions where we're sharing ideas with others and kind of, you know, looking at something that you've created and getting some feedback. And then the rest of the time, the three hours, is just your independent work. So the process that we're going to go through is um, you have a Get to Know You video, which is this one. Step two is to complete the practice found on slides four through six. And then step three is to, is to start your own. So for you guys, we need to do steps one, two, and three before 
uh, we get together on March 22nd, at least steps one and two, um, so that you have something, um, you know how to use it before we get together to brainstorm. So according to this, you're new to Jamboard, so we're gonna go to slide four. So I'm gonna go, these are for experienced users. They're gonna share some of their Jamboards. And so new to Jamboard, uh, we always want to start with some sort of icebreaker. The whole point of an icebreaker is to build community. So you really want that that um, that icebreaker to be something that isn't doesn't require prior knowledge. It is something that it doesn't. Um, it's low risk for kids. You want to get them talking. You want to get them interacting, um, and then. Um, then you can use that once they are comfortable with how to use Jamboard and just comfortable with communicating in a class, then you can take them further. So this one, we need to use a sticky note or a pick to answer the question. So this is something that you would participate in. So I'm gonna find an image of um, pegged jeans, pegged pants, jeans in the 80s. That was something that I definitely used and here is a great picture. I'm gonna insert that. I don't have one, a picture. I, I destroyed all of those. So I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little text box underneath it. Peter Syme. No pics exist. Now that's really large and I'm gonna have a lot of people, so I'm just gonna make that a little smaller, make this extend it out so it's one line and then make my font much smaller and stick it up there. And that's it. So you're gonna go ahead and you're going, you can pause the video and then go to your Jamboard and add the most embarrassing tr fashion trend that you used to rock and then come back. All right, so your second piece is, I want you to brainstorm some icebreakers. Come up with three different things. You could use pictures or you could use post-it notes, remember, or sticky notes. Sticky notes are there, images are there, but come up with at least three things that you could use as a, as a brainstorming, or, or not a brainstorming, I'm sorry, as an icebreaker idea, and post those there. I put a couple ideas um, down at the bottom here, the one thing that I don't like about Jamboard is that link isn't active. So you actually have to click on it, highlight it, and then paste it into your web browser to get it to, it's not hyperlinked. But there are some ideas, or you could just Google icebreaker ideas. Now, your job is to practice your skills. That's really all there is to um, Jamboard. I want you to practice your skills by creating a content page. So you are going to change the background. You have to have at least one picture, text box, or a sticky note, and a shape. So you have to have a pic, a text box, a sticky note, and a shape. And when you design the prompt, make sure you give students specific instructions on how you want them to respond. Do you want them to put their initials in their response? Do, if they do a picture, do you want them to label it with their name? And I also would like you to put your course, your name, your course, and your content and the goal in the upper right-hand corner. So I'll, I'll give you an example here. So first I'm gonna pick my background. Um, this particular time I am teaching the 1920s. So I'm going to search, there's lined paper, there's graph paper. Um, I just want, um, I think I just want um, yellow. So I'm gonna click yellow. And you usually want to try to find a background that is a little lighter. Um, otherwise, it makes it difficult to see um, things on top of it. So I'm gonna just go with this one. I have my background now. All right, and I want them, so we're talking about the 1920s. So I'm gonna put a, <clears throat> um, or maybe we call it the Roaring 20s. And I wanna make that bigger because I really want that to be the focus. Okay, 
And then, so I've done my text box, I've done my background. Um, I want students to, um, uh, using sticky notes, pictures, sticky notes, pictures, or text. Um, Tell me um, everything you know about the 1920s. Now that's a little wonky, so first you need to expand it. And then now I need to tell kids how I told them what I want them to do. Be sure, and this is a brainstorming, so I don't know that I want their names on it. I just want them to tell me what that is. And then I need to give, I need to, so I have my text box, I have my Roaring Twenties, and then I need some sort of shape. So this is going to be a little bit forced. I just want to get the shape in there. Um, and then I also need a picture, so. Go to 1920s, and you can do maybe a search there, maybe throw in a picture. It doesn't always have to be a picture. You know, it could be just 1920s and just that label. And the only thing that I did not do is I need to, um, it says to put my name, course, content, and goal. So... I didn't do a sticky note, we'll do that. Let's make that blue, and I'll call this Peter Syme example. Um, course, it would be US history, and um, content would be 1920s, and then, um, Purpose, um, background information, or an introduction. And then I'll just put that in the corner here. So then that way, and you would go ahead and finish your page. So that's really all that you have to do. That's the practice. Now when it's time to share, when it's time to share, you'll come up here and you'll get the share code. And you want to change. And so when you do this, um, right now everybody is an editor, which is what we want uh, because it's a class um, Jamboard. Now if you want it to be a, I'll show you if, if you want it to be an assignment where each student is getting their own, then when you paste that link in your Canvas page, you would replace all of this, this edit, question mark, USP equals sharing. We basically would replace all of that with the word copy. And that's how you share it. Let me know if you need help. Um, and we'll do some brainstorming.